If you want to upset Ferrari, put a 66 Ford GT40 engine inside of a 330 P3. You guys really want me to get sued. <laughs> I'm going to do it, but if you see me disappear for a little bit, you, you, you're going to know why. <laughs> Once again, for all the new people, my name is Jordan from Austin Motoring, and I do engine swaps both in a Settle Corsa and in real life. Let's get to building this. Being as the GT40 motor is kind of massive, <laughs> it's a seven liter. We're gonna we're gonna make it in here. We might be able to push a little bit more power out of it than uh than they initially let on. Let's see what we can do with it. So for bore, we're dealing with 4.3. So because it goes down a little bit, we're gonna do 4.31 and a bunch of zeros. For stroke, we're dealing with 3.8. I'm not gonna lie, trying to find stuff on Ford 427s is not easy, but I found something. So it, they came with steel cranks. I'm going to assume they were forged as well as H beam connecting rods. I'm going to assume they were forged as well. I'm not sure the pistons were forged. I'm going to go with cast pistons just because it seems like sign of the times type thing. Dealing with a carburetor setup, twin four barrel setup, race intake manifold, and that looks absolutely nuts. <laughs> yeah, this would make closer to the 480, 490 numbers that we were seeing back in the day um, if it was a motor made in the 1960s but this thing has been it has been refreshed we're gonna see what this does inside of the ferrari and uh let's see if we get a letter in the mail all right so we have the ferrari 330 p4 i mean p3-4 the only difference was the motor guys i'm not gonna lie if you do see me go missing like call the police <laughs> call interpol or something we are actually on lamar right now this this is no chicanes this is how it would have been back in the 60s just listen to that if you guys like the video, I suggest you go follow, like, share the video. Let's see how this thing drives. <laughs> God. This is so wrong. So I did lengthen out the gearing ratios quite a bit because I have a feeling that this straightaway is going to catch us. Um, but seeing as we have the better motor in here, it should be no worries, right? Oh wow, this is the piece of history right here, and it honestly doesn't drive bad. It's already trying to kill me. It, it notices that there's a Ford motor inside. <laughs> Alright, let's see how fast we get this thing to go. It's shooting some planes now, gotcha. This thing is kind of flying. Kind of flying, I guess. It's actually like really stable. I'm very much surprised that it's doing this right now. Holding nice 170, the wheels staying perfectly straight. I have no world worries in, in the world at the moment. It's not anything too wild or anything. This is kind of nice. Also, like it is significantly, it feels faster. Granted, none of them had 500 horsepower. Not that I know of. Watch me trying to blow up the, the Ford motor. <laughs> Jeez. Oh! If I wasn't getting a letter before, I'm definitely getting one now. 